Hello guys, I'm back. Yes, one more video. Because I heard something really funny and I'm I'm sure you're gonna fall off the chair laughing. So right now you're watching a real celebrity. Yes, that's me. Because people are starting to make up stories about me now. <laughs> I was wondering why I was getting so many subscribers. And uh, now I know. Uh, there's a little rumor going on that I had a secret, um, a secret visit to the Royal Talents factory. That's that's the thing. I'm just going to be um, uh, stirring some paint for the poor. So listen to this. I supposedly went to Talents. Very very um, secret. You know, um, I could see myself sitting in, you know, my little car, the smart car. So I went with my little smart car. I went to some, some sort of a parking garage. There was this blinded um, limousine waiting for me with the uh, Talon's li license plate. Then I snuck into that car. They zoomed me off to a Royal Talon's where I sat and had a secret meeting with them. And uh, in that meeting, they asked me to... Do a pour. Are you falling off your chair yet? Okay. So they asked me to do a pour. And all these people were watching. And um, I did a pour. And uh, so it was a beautiful pour, of course, because that's what I do. Then uh, after a couple of minutes, like after I poured, all of a sudden every, all the cells fell apart. And that's the rumor. <laughs> Sorry, but this is the, oh my god, I am really gee wow, it's too much, but I guess it comes with the territory of being a celebrity. So, thank you, the person who put that rumor into the world because I think uh, that's why I'm getting so many new subscribers because everyone's going ooh and ah, and they want in on the secret meetings I have with Royal Talents. Okay. Sponsor list. Updated this one. Wendy, I <laughs> put your name down there. I'm sorry I didn't see that on the uh, on the on the little email thing, so um I fixed it. And I had uh Julie Julie wrote me, she said I'm not on it, but uh, I'm not sure uh if she sent me the um uh, that she did the PayPal thing with the with the email she sent me, so I just I'll check, and then I'll put her on the list. So, because you know, if you're not on here and you think you did uh, do a sponsor thing, absolutely mail me please, because I do not want to leave you out. Right? Okie dokie. Now, I was thinking, um, being the celebrity I am. I, no, I won't, I won't, but it is totally ridiculous. So many lies going on, unreal. And, you know, why? I, I, 15, 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've seen people with like a million subscribers go, go and, 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 you know, make up some lies about them. Um, but... I guess it, it just, you know, I guess I have to get used to it. So, I don't care. They can do anything they want. What I have in here is Azo Yellow Deep. I have Burnt Sienna. I have Van Dyke Brown. I have, I think I should say Prussian. Prussian Blue? I thought it was Prussian Blue. Okay, Prussian Blue. I have the beautiful Turquoise Green, which I love so much. And I have a titanium white. What I did is, there is not one drop of um, pouring medium in here. I thought it was time to do a, a budget pour again, you know. And uh, because I sold the the last one I did with um, the PVA, so PVA in there, and of course silicone. But I do want to uh, just add silicone to a little extra to the turquoise and to the white so there we go I got a lot of comments of people um, wanting uh, to come with me to that really big 
uh, garden garden shop. I am so gonna do that with you guys. I might go to a little one first because I got gotta get some stuff for in the pond, some of those oxygen plants. But um, when I go to the big one, I'm gonna take you guys. Maybe the little one too. That way you can compare how big they are. Okay, I'm already here. And of course to the island, Ameland, yes. I'm gonna do a little bit of white on the bottom. Then a lot of turquoise. Ooh, there's a lot sticking in, in the cup. Let me get it out. So that's better. Then I will put in the Van Dyke Brown from up high. I'm going to really pour it in there. Can you see it? Yes. Then blue. There we go. Pouring it in from high. That's fixed. Then this nice burnt sienna, also from up high. That's that one. And then the yellow. And I'm leaving about um, 18 inches between the cup what I'm pouring out of and the uh, cup where it's going into. So that when I pour it, a lot of it is, is getting mixed just by the gravity of it. And then I'm going to fill it. The last bit is that white. And I am hoping for some really awesome cells. So I'm going to do a flip cup. Just like this, whip, there we go. Give it a little gravity pull. I'm gonna keep it in the middle. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. Ooh, I like that swirl at the end. I would like that swirl down here also. This is a dark one. I like it. I normally never do dark ones. Don't know why. Now, when you torch, I want to do say that one more time. See how fast I'm going over it? Like if I were to do it over my hand. People, it is so not hot when you do this. Look at that. This is about, I would say, close to 40, 40 uh, Celsius. You can look it up. But this is how hot it should get, 40 Celsius. Don't, don't burn the uh, silicone. Don't burn the paint. Don't get that little skin on top because that's not good. So then... Um, you don't want to do anything uh, to uh, to burn the paint or the silicone. Oh, I like all those little spots on it. That is totally different. So I'm going to pour it off a little. Oops. Not too much. Pour it down there. Pop it over the edge a little bit. There we go. I like how now the brown is popping through, This the burnt sienna. That is kind of pretty. Letting that go over there. This is a really, really pretty one. You know why I wanted to do a PVA again? Because the PVA has some sort of a, I don't know how to explain it. It gives that sort of a lightning look. If you, if you look up close, see how this is sort of like lightning. And I, I really like that. This is really pretty. But there's a lot of paint on the can on the plastic, which I don't like. But I'll get some Yupo in a bit, and I'll show you 
oh yeah, someone said you should do Yippo, and I said, no, I got hundreds of those. So I'll show you in a bit how many Yippo I have. Just doing the sides and the corners. And I do have push pins under here, so. Just cleaning off the bottom so I can put it on my workbench. Pretty, pretty. I really like it. I've never done uh, one that this dark before. I don't know why that is. Because um, if you get that yellow and that burnt sienna, this whole bit, it's starting to look pretty. I really like it. Okay. I am going to do a quick... Oh yeah, I was going to do something with that. Okay, let's do that. I'll show you that. You know, it's not that pretty. I'll just do it with my hands without gloves. I'll just show it. See, if you like this, I'm not sure if you like this. Do you like that? Well, I could have made... What I should have done is uh, got my setup, you know, for my camera. I could have made beautiful, beautiful macros out of this. I'm not sure if you can see it. We'll have to get it in close a little bit. It's not totally ugly. So let me put it aside. Do one more. Put it right in there. Hmm. Too bad it didn't go all the way. Yeah, that's looking better. Maybe with other colors it would look good. You see the little cells. It's not too bad. Okay, now I don't want to throw that away because look at those cells. They're looking pretty. That's really too bad that I'm going to throw that away. I don't want to throw it away. Oh, I know what I'll do. Let's do a little dipping with a tiny little canvas. That's going to look good. Okay. Then fix this. There we go. And do the sides. I'll do that with a finger. Oh no, I want some blue. That's better. This is a cutie. I like this one. I really do. It's really cute. Here we go. Do a little torch pew. Even prettier. So we're gonna let that one dry. Put it on a cup though. That's that. Then I'm going to put these cups up here because I don't want to throw it away. I might do something with it, but I'm not sure yet. There's still a little bit left inside. Then I'm going to take out that. There we go. Yupo. This is all Yupo. These are all tiny, tiny little 
see the little swipes? And what I did with these was um, I used them to do the macro shots for the prints I'm selling on uh, Curios. They do stick together though. So I do, this one is really gorgeous. Oh, too bad there isn't much light. Let's see if I can get some more light up here. There we go. So just imagine that you're taking like a square inch. So that's a macro picture. And then I, um, I, I put them on uh, Curios. Look at that, how beautiful that is. So, you know, if you're starting out, and I totally understand that sometimes you don't have enough uh, funds to just throw paint around like I do. Well, what you can do is you mix up a tiny amount of paint. Um, I would say about an eighth of one of those. See, I have these really small cups. So an eighth of this cup I fill with the colors paint. And I get all the colors I really like together. And then I start doing these swipes. And I do a lot of them. Look at that, how beautiful that one is. I'm pretty sure that one's on uh, Curios, this bit. And then you just swipe and a torch, because you can torch this uh, stuff, the Yupo, if you do it as quickly as I do. I hope it's in uh, focus because it is really, really beautiful. So I have hundreds and hundreds and that's what I'm trying to um, trying to teach uh, people that, you know, I have done so many. I have done color studies. I have done um, swipe studies. I have um, done Yupo on Yupo, you know, putting a piece of Yupo on top and sliding it off. And um, so, so many, uh, really hundreds and hundreds. You can see where they, see these two go together. See that, that's a mirror. So I just put them on, you know, put colors on here and then press it on top and then peel it off real fast and then make macro shots of anything that I find interesting. And that is a whole thing you can do with uh, this pouring also because, you know, it is uh, really pretty. Even though they're small, I could make, um, I think I could make trade cards. Yeah, that's something I might want to do. Because I have hundreds of these. Hundreds. I can go through them all, but I think you're getting, getting the picture. This one is beautiful too. Look at that one. But what you do when you um, do this, you get to know your paint. You get to know how uh, colors react uh, to each other. Look at this lovely, lovely swipe. And when it's wet, it's even more beautiful. So you, you just test out. This is another color which I really liked. You just go and test and test and test. And you will be learning so much about your paint. You will learn about... Um, how much silicone needs to be in there, <clears throat> how much you need to stir, and before you know it, you will know your paint as well as I know mine. And then you're going to be making beautiful, beautiful pores. See how tiny this is? But even by doing this, you're learning so much. And I bet you'd like me to go through this like forever. This is a beautiful one too, the really dark brown one. So I bet you could watch me do this like a very colorful one. So here is some more. See, hundreds and hundreds, big ones, small ones. I just pour, pour, pour. And that's how you you know, really, really know what you're doing because then even when you're pouring, you know uh, what's going to create these these lacing cells, <clears throat> what's going to create the other cells. So many. 
I can't even show them all. Here's one with gold. I kind of like this. There we go. That's a sort of a sea, sea theme. And if that isn't enough, I got some more. So many. But you can usually see that I really, really like those, these colors. It's the orange, the yellow, turquoise green, a little bit of brown. That's what I really like. I have so many. And the good thing is, like I showed in another previous video, if you have something like this, you can make beautiful jewelry. Can you imagine making a pendant out of one of these? And I've showed that a couple of times. Don't even know where I have them. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'll show them one more time. See, this is uh, these are swipes. This is just testing the uh, the plastic. But you know, on the on the back you have some veneer like this, and you can make beautiful jewelry. And if you think that isn't enough. If that isn't enough, I got a couple of hundred more. So, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I have so many of these. I might do uh, trading cards. Yeah, that could be a good one because I have, I have a couple that are big enough to make a trading card. Yeah, that's gonna be cool because this one is awesome. I still love this one. I could even make this into a, a really little painting and then put one of those, oh, how do you call them? The, those mounting things around them. That would look cool if you had two of those. See, it's almost the same. You could hang them under each other. So I hope I'm giving you guys some ideas how to uh, get into this, uh, this medium. Because, you know, you don't always have to make beautiful pores. It, it, it's really, if you start out like this and you, you do really beautiful swipes, look at that lacing. And you can learn so much from these little ones. And you could go sell them as trading cards or as really nice little paintings. They do stick together some. But they come, they come loose. Here's another one who totally beautiful. So lots and lots and lots. Let me get this one in focus for you. So look at them. I think there's close to a thousand of them. Not all big that I can do something with them, but a lot of them. So let's go and see how our pour went. Here it is. Now there's not enough light over here. Why not? It takes forever for the light. Oh, there it goes. This is a kind of a wild one. I do like it though. There we go. And the little bitty one. It has some interesting parts in it. And the two swipey ones on the Yupo. Get you guys close up so you can really see it. And there, that one. See, can you imagine doing a macro of this one? It would be so cool. I might do a few macros. I'm going to uh, upload this and see you guys in the uh, next video, of course. But maybe I'll do a couple of macros. Thank you all. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.